So as many of you know, we had a pretty good storm here last week. We've had several other storms after that with a lot of high winds uh, and some great opportunities ar arose out of that. This was one of the trees that I went and got cleaned up. I took all the brush from that tree and then mulched it into the garden. So the way this project came about is after that storm came through, or several of the storms that kind of rolled through over the next few days, we ended up doing a lap around the block, checking up on some of the neighbors, making sure everything was okay, uh, to find out if they needed any help with anything. And in that process, on our way back, we noticed there was one house that uh, had a tree down. We never met this neighbor before. We just know she's an older lady. Uh, we see her outside gardening every once in a while. She's got a lot of nice flower beds and stuff. And um, we decided to stop in there. We figured she'd probably need to hire someone to get that tree taken out of there. She just had of that age. So we stopped down to chat with her a little bit uh, to see if she had any interest in getting that removed. Of course, we could use that wood and we could potentially help her out as well, getting some of that tree re removed. And with that, I agreed to take the, the full tree, everything, because I figured I could use all the brush and stuff for the garden, and of course, the wood for uh, burning come the winter season and stuff like that. So I made sure I did a real thorough job, made sure I didn't overstep on anything, made sure I worked out, you know, can I drive across your nice lawn to go load up my truck with this stuff? You know, we just worked out all that stuff to figure out what was okay or she was okay with. Um, and which left her very happy and because of that another opportunity arose she had a couple oak trees that were out in a couple of the fields that were real easy to pull up to get cut and, and loaded up so she offered those up to me as well and uh, so I have some more potential firewood uh, to harvest here that's you know very very close very short travel time you know less than a mile or something or about a little mile and a half or something and um, and it doesn't take out of our wood lot at all so uh, definitely a win-win situation. So with that also, you know, our corn got pretty well damaged. Well, you can see it's on its way back. We took uh, Deep South Homestead's recommendation. They had some corn that was knocked down this year. They did a couple test trials and stuff. And the thing that worked out the best for them was actually just leaving it be. And sure enough, it was a little hard to do, just letting it go. You know, it looked pretty shabby the first couple days, but things have really turned around. The corn's starting to tassel up real nice now. And it shouldn't be too much longer. And we should have some sweet corn going here. So the one other thing that ended up taking a little bit of a beating was our sunflowers. Um, with that storm, there was a couple that ended up actually going down, but really not that bad. Now you can see after that nice little rainstorm, these things really sprouted up. Uh, some of them are actually starting to pop heads a little bit, but usually these things get quite a bit taller than this before they start doing that. And you can see these ones don't even really have heads starting to form on them very much yet. So, uh, and just to give you a reference here, I'm, I'm about 6'1 or 6'2 probably with my boots on. And uh, they're clearly over my head here. So, you know, this ended up not being too bad of a situation, but there's, you know, there's always good to be found out of the bad. It's really how you look at it. It's obviously very easy to feel like you're the victim at times, but it's really all about what you, you make of it. With this opportunity here, you know, we're going to end up with a lot more firewood in our wood piles here for the coming winters. And um, we didn't really have too bad of a loss with the corn, maybe a stock or two here or there and a few sunflowers, but in the grand scheme of things, very, very minor. It could have been a whole lot worse. So anyways, I just thought I would share with you guys kind of some of the projects that are kind of going on right now. Right now, there's probably going to be a lot of firewood going on or firewood cutting going on for us just because the opportunity is here and need to jump on it while the going's going good or something like that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>